You saw the thumbnail right, we're doing some mystery boxes today, which is cool. Now I do have a confession, I have a confession, stick with me here. I got one of these three pack booster packs and I cracked, I opened it off camera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes. And I'm gonna tell you what I got out of it. Um, I did not get a heart gold, soul silver, or any other amazing packs, but I did get a couple good pulls. I got the unknown V full, uh, full art, um, not the alternate art, unfortunately, but the full art, um, which I guess that'd be Silver Tempest. And then I also got the Mew V star gold card. I forget which set that was from now. It shows on screen anyways. Two, two out of three packs, pretty good. So um, sorry, sorry, sorry. But we actually have a couple of these. There was a bunch of them on the shelf. I was at Target in the US. This one was kind of crushed. So not too, we, you know, we'll start with this one as well, um, just cause it's kind of crushed here. But um, I was at Target in the US and uh, you know, they, they, we don't get these in Canada very often. And like legendary collection, like how great would it be for there to be a legendary collection pack just floating around in one of these things? I do not believe that that is going to be the case, but you know what? If there's a chance, hey, that's pretty cool. So let's see if we can get something good. It says there are chase packs um, before, I guess I should show you. It says look for randomly inserted vintage packs. That would be cool. I'd even take Plasma Bass Blast. Evolving Skies is what I'm kind of looking for. Chase pack seated one in 10. What does that mean? Who knows? Um, uh, you know, Brilliant Stars, I'll take that to, uh, you know, what is, what's a chase pack? What's a chase pack? I guess we're gonna find out. Darkness Ablaze, this is a set that I have in fact completed. And like, what? I, I don't even know, like I might not even open it. Like I've, I've completely finished this set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, honestly, I might, we'll see. I'm, I might, I might still end up opening it up, but um, uh, Chilling Pain, you know what, this, this set, I, I say Chilling Pain more because it's, it's hard to, to complete the set. Like this set is madness for how many alternate arts there are in this set. Um, it, it's a pretty painful set to try and complete uh, full arts. Um, rainbow rares, right? That, this was the, the day of rainbow rares still. Um, it, it was kind of wild, but uh, still a fun set. Deli Bird, we've got a Galarian Runneringus and a Malamar. So we didn't do much there and that's okay. But yeah, Darkness Ablaze, it's one of those sets where, where um, I, I really enjoyed it at the time. It was a great set. You know, the Charizard VMAX was of course the, the card you chase for, but there's like, nothing at all like worth even trying to chase in the set because even that Charizard is not even worth like opening up the pack so I, I apologize for that but you know is this the no the, the Drizzile I think was that from base uh, Sword Shield base I think that was the one that had some value at, at one point Thwacky and a Rapidash or sorry Rapidash <laughs> Rapid Strike Urshifu, so at least we got a holographic there. So that's what, three packs? So we got maybe two more packs to go. Got a Lost Origin, I don't mind some Lost Origin, that's okay, it's no it's no Evolving Skies, but um, Lost Origin, of course we got the Giratina. Um, I got some Giratina luck very, very early, which uh, which is which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can get some more Giratina luck. Um, uh, th it's funny, the card, I don't really like love the look of the card. Um, I think it's a really cool looking card, I guess, but it's it wasn't it wasn't the chase card for me. Mine was the actually the Aerodactyl, and uh, ended up pulling it really really early on, and a Dustox. Um, so like I guess I shouldn't be too upset. And a Vivid Voltage, man, that's another set like that. that I think I technically need some cards from Vivid Voltage still, so we'll open it up. We're gonna hope for the Pikachu. Um, I, I again great set at the time. But it turned into just not that that special. So you know what? Let's just let's go through it. Let's just see if we get that Pikachu. We've got a Barrascuda and a Terrakion. See that? You know, another one of those sets where it's just it's a little bit um yeah. It's a little lackluster now. So that was that. Like that was was that worth how much that was? I don't even remember. I think that was $29.99 US. So, you know, you're looking at six bucks a pack. Was it worth six bucks a pack? 
Um, no, <laughs> certainly not. If there's evolving skies, the like maybe, but anyways, this is the other mystery power box that we have. Um, Crystal Guardians, wouldn't that be cool? That is obviously not a chase pack. That is a randomly inserted pack that they probably put in one out, out of these and how many thousands upon thousands and tens of thousands of these did they make? Call of Legends, that would be cool. Um, you know, this is from the MJ Holding Company. Uh, kind of, I, I would say you, you, you kind of take a risk with it. Like I, I opened up the, what, what was the set? Um, the PokéRev ones, I've done a few of those recently and you can go check them on my channel. So make sure you hit subscribe and go certainly check for those. They, um, you know, I guess you still know it's a little more transparent than this. Um, now, mind you, back when these first started coming out, and, and you can look for these on my channel, I even got some vintage packs out of these back in the day, which was really, really cool. Nothing like crazy, but it was still, it was vintage packs. So, yeah, again, make sure you go try and find that on my channel. It's kind of kind of neat, but um, anywho, I digress. Uh, PokéRev packs, a little more transparent. Still, are they a good deal? They're a good deal if you be one of the lucky ones to hit it. That 1 in 25, I suppose, but um, probably a better deal than this. I'll, I'll say that. So, all right, here we go. We have got four packs in this and a code card. Um, let's hope we hit Evolving Skies. I mean, that's really... Or like a Shining Fates or something like that, even though Shining Fates isn't a terribly valuable... Uh, set either, but um, we'll hope for a chase pack. Whatever a chase pack may be, even some burning shadows would be kind of cool. Relicamp, Phantom, Makuhita, Electric, Murkrow, Shuppet, set of focus, Phalanx, and a Mag Cargo. So we did not get anything interesting there. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Silver Tempest. Okay, all right, all right. That's a chance. That's a chance at the Lugia, which I have not pulled. I have not pulled the Lugia. So that would be a cool card to get. Um, there is that. One, two, three, four. Let's get some luck here, because I would love, and there's, uh, I think, is that the same one that, uh, the guy that designed the Giratina card, I think, that artist there. I could be wrong. Esper, Smeargle, Litten. Rotom, and we've got a Frostlass, so we're kind of striking out on these packs here. Let's see, is there a code? There's supposed to be a code card in there. Is that a code? Nope. I don't know if there's a code card. I guess we'll find out. We've got... Look at that! Shining Fates. So I guess that is... I don't know if that's considered... There's a Shining Fates a Collection Pikachu V box. Um, I guess that could be considered a, uh, a chase pack. I mean, let's pull a Charizard. Right? Is that what, uh, it's been, it's been, oh my goodness, this pack is a little stiff. Um, it's been a while since I've opened up Shining Fates, like, a while. <laughs> um, so, I, 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 I guess we're just, we're hunting for shiny Pokemon. I guess that's all I know is we're hunting for shiny Pokemon. Dartrex, Gym Trainer, Team Yelled Howl, Horsey, Cacnea, Shinx, come on, let's get, let's get something. Let's get some shiny Pokemon. We got, ooh, a shiny Inteleon. Um, if, and, and a hollow Indeedee. I'm pretty sure this was like one of the most valuable, even though it's not a full art ones. This used to be one of the most valuable um, shiny Pokemon, certainly sh uh, baby shiny Pokemon. So that's not a bad pull. On screen, obviously it said what it is. I have no idea where the value is on this card anymore, but hopefully that's a good value card. Like that's pretty sweet. Maybe if, it retained its value, it paid for this box, this four pack box, which I think was like $21.99. Um, you know, so maybe, maybe, last pack, come on, let's see a vintage one. Hey, you know, Evolving Skies, Evolving Skies there, empty box. You can't be upset, we're finishing, finishing with Evolving Skies. I have not had the pleasure of pulling the Moonbrion or the Rayquaza V or V Max. Um, I would love to do that. Um, I feel like I've kind of already given up on that hope, but you know, I guess stranger things have happened. Um, what a way to, uh, to get it out of a mystery box. So like, we, if, there's always a chance every pack you open, but the odds of pulling that card is pretty slim to none. So let's see what we can get here. 
Ice Skew, Skip Loom, Elemental, Drowsy Bergmite. I do love Evolving Skies. I wish I invested. Like booster boxes are worth so much now from this set. This this would have been a great set to to, to invest in. Zorua, we have got a snow leaf badge, and we have got we've got we've got something. What what could that be? It's a secret rare. If this if this is I mean just looking at it, it kind of looks like the Rayquaza. Which would be absolutely incredible. I don't want to get myself too excited here, but we've got something, guys. We've got something. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. The Rayquaza VMAX. Holy smokes. This is unbelievable from a stinking mystery power box. Oh my gosh. This is a great bowl. I actually wanted this one more than than the Moonbrion. I don't know. I'm gonna grade it. This one looks actually pretty darn good. Leave a like on this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.